verbal riot. Because whose game is it? And we're going to be talking about Hell Divers 2 and the whole controversy that happened last week, man. Last week was nuts as far as news goes. <laughs> There was a lot of crazy shit that happened. Um, it was rough to keep up with it too, man. It was a lot going on, like almost daily. Yeah, it was it was wild. And I, I guess apparently, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong on what happened here. Is uh, so I guess when you sign up for Hell Divers, and what's funny is I I have this game on my PS5 right now. I haven't had a chance to play it yet because I'm busy as hell. But I've been wanting to play it for so long, and I was excited to play it until all this craziness happened. But I guess what happened was PC gamers who bought the game um, didn't. Okay, so I, I need to say this right because there, there there was a clause in the game that you have to sign up for the PSN network, right? Like right. It's, it's 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 stated in the game when you sign up to get it. What happened was though, when PC gamers bought the game, that clause wasn't there at the time because the developer because they were trying to get they were trying to keep the game running and there were so many people who were signed up that they took that clause out of the game or not not took it out but paused it right so it wasn't something you had to do so you had all these pc uh players who signed up for uh, who, who bought the game who were able just to jump into the game play it didn't have to sign up with 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 the playstation network and there was no problems right the game had great word of mouth, uh, so much so I bought it because of the word of mouth, right? Um, the game had a lot of love, and it had a lot of goodwill, right? Like, this game was just being, like, hoisted as this is how you do gaming, right? Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden last week, Sony decided to reenact that clause that, hey, you know what? If you're a PC gamer, you got to sign up for the PlayStation Network. A lot of PC gamers were pissed at that because they, they didn't want to do that. You know, the reason why most PC gamers are PC gamers are because they don't like console, right? They don't want to have to do all the console things that we do. I'm a console guy myself. I have a PS5 and an Xbox Series X. Um, I haven't moved to PC yet. I know I should at some point, but you know what? I'm, I'm comfortable with consoles. So where I would have no problem doing this just because I already have a PS5 and it's just an easy thing for me to do, I understand why PC gamers are pissed, though. Yeah. Because that's not what you signed up for. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, and they fought it. They fought it hard, man, with the help of Grums, who we all know, and mm -hmm. a bunch of other, uh, you know, big names in that, in, that, uh, in that space. And they won. Sony decided not to do it. Uh, and I think that was announced today, today or or last night or yesterday. Oh, that last Sony night. Said, yeah. You know what? Fine, we're not going to do it. So, gamers won. The gamers won. Uh, do you guys see this as a trend of ga of the gamers winning? Because you know, we look at what happened with Stellar Blade, right? We look at all these things that's been going on. Where do you guys think gaming is at right now with this? <sighs> that's a rough one, man. Because when it comes to you see the stuff that's going on with, you know, with Grums, with Cabrutus, um, and the whole, um, you know, the um, uh, the DEI stuff that's going on with Sweet Baby Inc. You know, all of that stuff that's going on over there. A lot of people are saying, hey, look, we got to get this stuff out of gaming. Similar to what we feel in Hollywood. We got to get this stuff out of film. We got to get this stuff out of gaming. It's the same conversation. Um, are they winning in that re regards? We'll have to wait and see. But right now, it's a win, and I think that everybody should feel good about that win. I think the Stellar Blade situation is probably evolving because we're going to have, you know, Grums has his campaign out where he's trying to get basically, hey, don't censor the game. Put the game back the way that we got it. And so there's a campaign going on for that. I think the, you know, the um the, oh, the online uh, petition thing. The petition. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm drawing blanks. The online petition is is sky high right now. It's doing great. So we'll see what it happens. If we get a if we get Stellar Blade uncensored, I think that can change some things. I think that's a sign that these studios and these gaming companies and PlayStation and Sony are actually listening. But one, because they I mean, the outcry for um for uh uh hell divers was incredible 
I've never seen anything like it. And, you know, people were basically just mass canceling, like, you know, getting refunds. Like it was insane how many people were just like, get, give me my money back. Give me my money back. Oh, and, and then they the, got the whole, so like, they, they said the, the review bomb, right? Um, and the review bomb on top of it, right? They were yeah. getting review bombed. It was just, it was a map. I think it was, <laughs> I mean, they came after them hard. So it was better, in my opinion, than Stellar Blade. Uh, but Stellar Blade is still, you know, evolving. And I think most people are pleased with the game Stellar Blade. So they're not really, like as upset as the hell divers crew was because that's like bait and switch what they were doing yeah. over there with Stellar yeah Blade. no I mean, it was. with hell divers so yeah completely different and i think that you know at some point in time there may have even been some legal action that might have jumped off if they didn't do something so i who, think who are the, the, who are the developers again point. oh man what's the name um was it arrowhead arrowhead uh arrowhead yeah yeah, yeah or arrow or something like that arrow or arrowhead yeah yeah so they had to make a they had to make that move I think they absolutely had to do that because um, the outcry was so immediate and it was just, you know, it, it was fierce. They were they were coming hard after them. Stellar Blade feels like it's more like, OK, guys, come on. You know, and it's like even though Grums is doing an amazing job with it, it just doesn't seem like it has that same energy. But if they actually listen to the fans when it comes to Stellar Blade. I think we might get some action from from that. And I think then, yeah, the gaming industry right now, they don't need any negativity going on right now when it comes to the gaming industry. And it's been nothing but negativity since the year started, you know, and now you've got the Star Wars game coming out and there's backlash from that. You got so much negativity around that coming off of Hogwarts Legacy last year. I think the gaming space right now, they might be the drivers for the change that we were looking for in Hollywood and we've really never gotten. Um, well, 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 the cattle, the, the catalyst for all of this recently is obviously uh, the whole thing with Sweet Baby Inc. and Kotaku and and right. that whole situation. And so, yeah, it's 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 a weird gaming is in a weird place right now. You know what I mean? What do you, what do you yeah. think, Aaron? I think gaming needs to be reminded of the same thing that comics needs to be reminded of, that Hollywood needs to be reminded of, and that our politicians need to be reminded of. It's that uh, we hold the power. Um, yeah. And that's the way it needs to be. Uh, I agree. Um, yeah. You know, what's what's the line from V for Vendetta? Uh, uh, people should not be afraid of their government. Government should be afraid of their people. Yeah. I think companies should be afraid of their customers. And I, so I think we need to put the fear of God in them. I think that we need to withhold our dollars whenever we can. I think whenever they do something like this and we don't like it, we need to you know go into these sorts of uh, these sorts of action modes because we need to have all of these companies that have these activists in them be so afraid to listen to the activists within their company instead of listening to their customers that as soon as they start, you know, as soon as those hens start cackling within the company, they're like, shut it down, shut up. <laughs> we're, we're not, yeah. no, we're not doing this. That's the way it needs to be. Stop listening to these idiots in your company who have never drawn a damn dime and start listening to the people that are making you money and that are giving yeah. you money. That used to I mean, be like I, I, the I, I, adage, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. So right. why are we doing things well, that don't make money? Like, why are we Black doing Rock's, this? Because BlackRock's got to force behavior, man. <laughs> Dude, yeah. They got to force behaviors. They got to force us into this way of thinking. But it I hasn't mean, it's why, it's why, it's, it's why I put out that tweet a couple of days ago where I'm like, you know, I, I miss when companies just wanted to make money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, like, like what happened in those days when companies just wanted to make money? 